Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Ajay and today we are going to learn about generators in Python. So generators are basically used to create iterations. That's the first point and it is a function which returns a series of values but the function does not terminate until all the values are generated and the state of the function is maintained and it starts from the position where it was left if it, if it is called again. So basically generators are functions which returns a series of values. Now we can have a function which can return a tuple and the tuple can have uh, you know a series of numbers, elements but that entire tuple will return and the function will terminate. But a generator is also a function which will return a series of number but not all at one time. It will do it one by one and the function does not terminate, it is active. Now to understand this, let us switch to Python straight away and we will take some examples. So let us take one function and you can give any name. I will give the name like function itself. There is one parameter that is n and then I will decrement the value of n by 1 and then there is special keyword that is yield n. Now understand we are not going to use the return keyword over here. If we use the return keyword, the function will terminate. The yield keyword does the same thing what the return keyword does. This is also going to return the value n, but the function will not terminate. It will maintain its state. Also the values of n, the current value of n will also will get maintained. Now if I just copy this and paste it, this is, again I will paste it and 5. So I have just pasted, now total we have 5 statements, I mean all together these two, if I pair them together, so we have 5. So this is, if the value of n I pass as 5, so this will become 4 and I will return that value 4 and then this will make as 3, 2, 1 and 0. Now these values will return where it has been called. Now to, how to actually initialize or how to call a generator. First thing is we have to initialize a generator that is this way. I is equal to function and I pass the value that is 5. And then I have to use a function that is next i. And let me just put this under the print function. So whatever value it is going to return, it is going to print. And now let me tell you, this is not a call to the function. This is just like we are initializing, initializing the generator. This is not the call to the function. So that is where the difference is. Now to actually make this function work, this particular function that is next function is going to basically give a call to this function. And then if I pass, I'm just initializing that function with five. So that five will be received to n. And since the value of n is 5, this will become 4 and this particular statement will return that value, the value that is 4 and it will be received by, it, it is going to return over here, that is the next function. So if you run this particular code, you can see the output. Let me just save this like generator.py. And you can see there is a value that is 4. Now to access the next value, now the function is not terminated. Please understand the function has just returned that value over here that is 4. Now to generate the next value, I need to use this print function and inside that the next function again. Now if I do this, this is again giving a call to the function but the cur it, is, it is not going to start again from here. It is going to start from the next statement. That is this yield keyword basically return that value. But now it is going to start from here. And the value of n 
over here was 4 so 4 minus 1 will be 3 and then again that value is going to get written over here so if I run this particular program you can see the output it will be 4 and now it is 3 similarly if I want the next value I have to again use the print that is the next function inside the print and then one more and one more that is the output of this particular program that is 4 3 2 1 and 0 so over here it was 5 so here it became 4 3 2 1 and 0 and that value 0 got returned over here now if I try to again give a call to the function using that next function then this is what we are going to have and that is a error because now this particular function is actually got terminated so there is nothing to return a value so this is how a generator works so now you can see like this is a repeated code isn't it so let me just use a loop over here for i in and i will use a range function range start from 0 comma 5 so you can see now or i should say n now we are trying to generate a series of number and then I will say int i. So basically when n will be 5, so it is going to, uh, this loop is going to run that is i in range 0 comma 5. So it will run from 0 to 4 and initial value of i will be now 0. So it will return that value 0 and over here this particular statement is going to print 0. This will be 1, 2, and 4 and for this statement it should give an error because that's the only uh, values that this range function is going to generate that is 0 to 4 so basically the function gets terminated after 4 so let us run this particular code and see the output and the output is 0 1 2 3 and 4 and then you can see this particular error that we got so we need to remove this and now if I run this particular code we will have the output without any error so this is how a generator basically works so what we can do is we can also use a function over here like for i in and then I can use that name of that function that is function that is 5 and I don't need to do this now and then I will simply say print i so this will basically initialize the function and it will generate the values. Here it is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So when you use a loop for i in and then you can use that generator, we don't need to initialize and then we don't have to use that next function. So this is how you can do it. Now you can see this function is basically, uh, you know, we are giving a call to this function passing the value 5 and at first time it is going to return 0 and we are printing that value then again i will take the next value again the function gets called but this is maintaining its previous state so i will now become one and that value one will get written over here and this is how we are actually generating the series of number so this is how a generator basically works now let us take some interesting program and that is the palindrome program now I'm not going to go in detail what exactly a palindrome is. Still, in short, I will just tell you a palindrome is a string which, uh, for example, Nitin, and if you read it from the left hand side or from the right hand side, it comes the same. So N I T I N and N I T I N. So from the left and from the right, it is the same word or the same name. So that's a palindrome. So how to check whether the string is palindrome or not? Now there are so uh, many programs related to this in YouTube and various other platform. But uh, using a generator, you will not find a program. So I will just develop that program for you. How using a generator, you can check whether a string is palindrome or not. So let's begin. So this is the string and then what I will do is I will pass the same string over here now over here we need to do something and that is the logic for palindrome 
So this is basically when we give a call to the main function that is this one. So okay we need to remove this from here and I will simply say str. So this is a simple string travel search so i in str so i will be initially n then i then t i n simple and then it will print the output okay just to show you uh, i will just run this code and not we are not using this particular function so anyway it is not going to affect and you can see n i t i n that's the output now over here i need to do something that is if i if it is not equal to and then we have to check something over here so i will be initially n and then what i will do is just above this the loop i need to initialize this function and how to initialize that is uh, value is equal to and i will say function and str so this will basically it is not going to give a call to the function it, we are just initializing the object in a way so this is to initialize and then inside this we will be using that next function and over here I will say next of value that same value the variable name we have to use it over here in the previous example I took i is equal to and then the function then I use next of i so over here it is value so I am using that particular same variable over here so then if it is so if it is not equal to I will simply print that the string is not palindrome And I will break the loop outside the for loop. In fact, I'm going to use the else part for the for loop. And simply I will print the string is palindrome. Now, I'm not going to go into details what is the else part of this for loop, how exactly it works. So I assume that you know all that. So we are just making the generator work to check whether the string is palindrome or not if you want to check how exactly these things work what exactly is a palindrome i have my videos you can go and check check those videos and everything i've explained it so now let us just understand this this i initialized it and then every value now the what i need to do over here is i will be n and this particular generator will basically return the characters from the right hand side so basically i will be n and the function that is going to return i mean the generator will return the uh, character from the right hand side and it will get compared the first and the last will get compared and this is what we need to achieve then the second and then the second last so this is what we need to do so let us come up with that logic that is len of n minus one why minus one you can see the length of because I'm passing that str it will be received by this n length of the string is 5 but the index value starts from 0 so I have to give length of n minus 1 so 4 I will start from 4 and go till minus 1 because I want this range function to generate a series from 4 3 2 1 and 0 so I'm giving as minus 1 and then I will take a jump of minus 1 so I hope this is very much clear to you and then what I will do is simply return the value the character basically of n of i now what will be the initial value of n of i I will initially have the value that is 4 it will start from 4 3 2 1 0 initial value will be 4 so that value 4 will get returned over here and what I will have I will have the first character and this is going to return the last character so this and the first and last will get compared if it is not equal to which means that this particular string cannot be a palindrome 
So if this condition goes true, it is going to print that the string is not palindrome and we straight away break that loop. If this condition never gets satisfied, which means that this particular string is a palindrome and then the else part of the for loop will get executed and it will print the string is palindrome. Let us just run this program and see the output, whether we are getting the right output or not. And you can see the string is palindrome. And let me tell you, it is returning the characters one after the other. So for i in str and then this next function is returning, giving a call to this function and the function is not terminating. Every time it is generating the next value and passing that value over here, returning the value over here. And this is how the things are working. If I make this n as k, now in this case, this is not a palindrome. So let us just run this and see the output. And you can see the string is not a palindrome. So this is the entire working of the generator. Do not uh, think generator like something of a very big concept or very complicated one. It is just a very simple thing to understand. It is just a function which returns a value but doesn't get terminated. Terminated. The function never gets terminated unless and until all the values gets generated. And every time you give a call, it is going to pass the next value of that particular variable. So this is the working of the generator. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you think you have achieved something out of my tutorial, do subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.